Top of the morning to you, my friend. Welcome to KPOZ, K-P-O-Z, where we talk only about the good stuff. My format is to have us learn something each day, to hear an inspiring story of some sort, and to, what else? Report the news. So uh, I took a shot at cutting my own bangs. I think it can easily be argued that I will have a grim future as a hair care professional. Don't worry anyone who is a hair care professional. It's not something I'm going to pursue. I always feel bad for our, our hair people. We do things like this and then we expect them to fix it up and get us back in the saddle. So anyway, I'm sure many of you have attempted to do some hair remodeling of your own over the past, what, six weeks, given our little time out we're going through here. Um, send me pictures. I'd love to see uh, how you did. Okay, let's learn something today. So what happened on this day in history? Okay, how about 1954? A fellow named Roger Bannister was the first person to break the four minute mile mark. He ran it in Oxford, England. He was 25 years old. He was a medical student at the University of Oxford. And he ran it in three minutes and 59 seconds. I think the current record is three minutes and 43 seconds. So goes to show you, someone will probably beat that record at some point too. So things can always get better. Second thing that happened on this day in history in 1940 is John Beck, great author. If you haven't read his books, I highly recommend them. He received the Pulitzer Prize for his book, Grapes of Wrath. Uh, it's a story about a fictional family called the Jodes, and there he traces kind of their journey from Oklahoma where they lost their family farm, and they decided to move to California to look for more opportunity and unfortunately, while they were there, things got worse. So if you haven't read the book, I recommend it. It's the Grapes of Wrath, written um, by John Steinbeck. And he received on this day in 1940 the Pulitzer Prize for that. He also, I think, won the National Book Award for Grapes of Wrath. So I wanted to today, <clears throat> our little inspiring story, if you will, is I say that k Paws talks only about the good stuff, and I mean that. And I think sometimes people say, yes, but Annie, don't be Pollyanna. Bad things do happen. And I, I think that that's, I can, I can see that side of the argument. And I think it depends on the meaning we decide to give to things. And let me explain, explain why. I always ask myself, regardless of what happens in my life, what's good about this? Perfect example, all at the same time, within a very few months of one another, a handful of years ago, my dad died, my house burned to the ground, a company that I was a founder of was in a very complex and expensive lawsuit, and the relationship that I'd been in with um, the, a fellow for 12 years was also going up in, in flames, all at the same time. And uh, that felt at the time like such a kick in the ass. It really did. But I'll tell you what, every single one of those things brought with it its own gift. And so I especially want to encourage any of you who, and I'm sure there's many of you, who are experiencing really challenging things right now due to this unplanned and unexpected COVID-19 situation that by no fault of ours, has landed us in some precarious situations. Give yourself some time each day and ask the question, what's good about this? For me, what was good about my dad dying is I decided that that's when I was really going to start living my life authentically. My house burned to the ground. Everything I owned, with the exception of a few things, was gone. And it gave me such a perspective on things that things are just things and they can be replaced for the most part. 
and the lawsuit turned out to be a good thing for myself and the other founders of the company as well as the investors in our company we um we ended up doing quite remarkable as a result of having that lawsuit show up in our lives and the relationship that ended there is not a day not a day that goes by to to this day that i don't thank god that i'm no longer in that relationship because it was not a good relationship for me to be in so there's a gift in every single one of those things i want to encourage you to look for the gift in all that's going on in your life it's important to have that perspective and decide where you need to pivot and decide what meaning that you are willing to give this event as you move forward with it and then finally i wanted to mention to you mother's day is coming sunday may 10th is mother's day if you're looking for a really cool gift for your mama or a mama out there that you know or even yourself consider this this is called the beatitudes kit it's a little kit, a little box, and it comes with a journal and a deck of cards that have inspiring words on them, and it helps you set the tone for your day. It also has a little card stand and a travel candle, and it's a really beautiful gift for your mama if you're looking for something for her. Okay, so that's it. I want you today to consider focusing on the question, what's good about this, regardless of where you find yourself in a situation, and Allow yourself the room and hold space for yourself to let that answer come to you. It may not happen today. Sometimes it takes a while to recognize the gift and things. All right, you guys, until I see you again tomorrow, K Paws signing out, K P O Z, where we talk only about the good stuff. Have yourself a kick ass day, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Take good care. Bye bye.